Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the second video in IB Physics Topic 4, Waves, where we will be looking at wave characteristics, travelling waves and polarisation. Before watching this video, make sure you have covered our first IB Physics Topic 4 video, covering simple harmonic motion. But how does this match to the characteristics of waves? Well, a wave is just an oscillation that only transfers energy. So, basic wave characteristics are the same as those in oscillations. You can visualise waves in two main ways. Ray diagrams, a diagram where arrows show the direction in which the wave energy travels, and wave fronts, a diagram where circles show the oscillation points of waves moving together, i.e. crests or troughs. Often, these are combined. However, note that rays and wave fronts are always at right angles to one another. Every wave has a displacement, amplitude, wavelength, period and frequency. However, an additional characteristic a wave has is intensity, I, defined as the energy per unit area. It is measured in watts per metre squared and is dependent on three factors. Amplitude, distance and interference. Let's start by looking at amplitude and distance. Imagine a light bulb in the dark. If you pass more power through the light bulb, the light intensity increases as each ray now has more energy. However, as you move further away from the light bulb, the light intensity exponentially decreases because the same number of rays travel through an exponentially larger area. Therefore, the intensity of a wave is proportional to its amplitude squared and inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source, termed the inverse square law. However, Waves rarely appear alone and often interact with other waves or even matter, known as interference. Naturally, the intensity of the resulting wave is also dependent on the interaction that occurs. Interference can take two forms, destructive and constructive. During either, the principle of superposition states that the wave produced from two interfering waves at any point is the vector sum of their displacements. Let's explore what this means with examples. When two perfectly out-of-phase waves combine, the displacements summate to form no wave. This is complete destructive interference, which decreases the amplitude of both waves. However, if two in-phase waves combine, the displacements summate to form a bigger wave. This is complete constructive interference, which increases the amplitude of both waves. In reality, most waves are slightly out of phase, and so partly summate and partly cancel, as shown here. A unique example of superposition is wave pulses. These are defined as non-sinusoidal disturbances of a medium that propagate as a half wave, i.e. just the crest or trough of a wave. If two wave pulses shown below meet, they form a larger amplitude wave pulse, and then separate back into the original pulses. This again is constructive interference. If these two pulses shown below meet, they cancel out, and then separate back into the original pulses. This again is destructive interference. Now that we know the basic characteristics of waves, let's explore the most common type of waves, travelling waves. Travelling waves are defined as oscillating waves that transfer energy through a medium via the movement of particles in the direction of the wave. These waves always have a constant speed, c, that is dependent on wave frequency f and wavelength lambda. The equation for this is speed equals frequency times wavelength. However, particles can move in two directions, forming either transverse waves or longitudinal waves. Let's cover each one now. In transverse waves, the oscillation is perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. In these, the particles only move up and down from their mean position to create the wave shape. However, energy travels perpendicular to this in the direction of the wave. Common examples include water waves and light. However, light is special because it is composed of two transverse waves, an electric wave and a magnetic wave, collectively termed an electromagnetic wave. For your exam, you need to recall some information on electromagnetic waves. The different types are radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma radiation. These can be remembered using the mnemonic Red Martians Invaded Venus Using X-ray Guns. 
All electromagnetic waves travel at a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and their relation to one another is defined by the electromagnetic spectrum. In this spectrum, as we progress from radio waves to gamma waves, there is an increase in energy and an increase in frequency, but a decrease in wavelength. Now let's look at longitudinal waves. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.